Welcome back to Hellocraft. This is season two. I'm coming back to you for episode three, still in the same spot as where I left off episode two. I'm trying to be better about my intros and I'm trying to be better about just, you know, showing you what's going on because I realized when I was editing the last video, like I didn't show you any of this. <laughs> Like I was planting crops and then the next one you came back to was just everything being done. And I thought I had replay of it and I'm pretty sure that it crashed. So I lost a lot of stuff, which is unfortunate. But let me talk you over some of the plans real quick. So um, I don't want to show off anyone's builds before their videos are out, but I feel like hers will be before I put out my episode three, but I shouldn't be able to see it from here. So we see Miss J all these little mushroom things. And I was like really inspired by that. Told her I was going to basically yoink her idea and take inspiration from her. Um, and kind of build some here to like mirror what she has going on. And I think that I'm going to leave her mushies to her. And instead, I think I'm going to build just like some kind of little... I don't know, kind of like nether geode based things since that's kind of our color palette and everything, you know, we've been going for over here has been all the geode, amethyst and all the dark like nether brick and all the dark crimson and everything. So I think that's what these will be. And I guess we'll just I'll put something special in each of them. Maybe I'll like put a job block in each, even though I'm not going to have villagers just to like have little house hut things. I think that's what I'm going to do here. So this episode, before I get too far ahead of myself, this episode is basically entirely going to be a building episode. I have these that I'm going to be building. Um, and then I said in my replay, which watching back on my video, I said this dirt area, there's literally no dirt right here <laughs> but my goal with this little patch with the tough the gravel and the wood over here i want to build some type of tower up and i think i'm going to put a moon so i have that the huts and then what else i have a shop i want to build and i'm thinking I'm thinking since our like community area is over here, I think I'm just gonna take this little section right here to build a shop. Now I may be, I may be entirely giving myself too much to do. So this might have to be broken down into two episodes. And if that's the case, the two builds that I just talked about behind me of the tower and those little structures may wait for episode four. And then episode three will be building a little shop right here next to the community build, and then this. And I will discuss this in just a second, but first we are going to sleep to save ourselves because I have no health and I'm just not about that life right now. And so shop, focus this episode really is shop right here. I'm gonna do a bone and arrow shop so I'm trying to come up with some kind of design of like maybe an arrow and then a bone going this way for a big X, which I think would be cool. And then the other big, big focus is going to be this. So let's read what this is all about. This says the Spawn Portal Community Build Project, <laughs> the SPCBP. <laughs> Hello there. If you're interested in building a community build for the Spawn Portal in front of you, temporary house provided by date, which has already been replaced, um, hit the wooden button on the dispenser to get your number and insert your name where it spe uh, specifies to do the same. You have now signed up for the SPCBP. <laughs> Keep the paper safe and deposit it in this barrel when you have completed your turn. Rules. Build on or around the spawn portal in order of the number you have received. Use any style or palette you wish and make it blend or complement the other build, the other hollow crafters builds. No time limit. This is meant to last a few episodes. In the end, we will have a wonderful, messy, artistic, and creative community build on the server, serving as a centered point to all our starter bases. Very important. Have fun. 
And the most creative, funniest one gets a pat on the back because I am broke. <laughs> Wired destroyer, local Jedi. So, oh, I need to turn it back. I'm pretty sure everyone has read this, but in case they haven't. And so let's just jump you to where we're at now. So it was a temporary house, which has now been replaced by this epic tree trunk. Like, can we just appreciate this? And so the person who got number one was wired. And this is what he built was this cute, cute tree trunk, which I am here for. It has our spawn portal. So cute. Love it. Next up, hold on. Next up above is this lovely portion built by date. And I'm going to save all of our ears the trouble of running around on it. Because as you can see, there are shriekers and they are really loud. So this is the portion date got number two. This is her build. And so thus, so now after wires and dates build comes my build that has to go right here. I drew number three, so I am up next, and uh, I I feel like it's only fair. So here, here's a great overview of Spawn. This is the villager breeder. In case anyone's forgotten, this is Bree's epic. It's like a tree dragon. Hopefully he puts out a video of that soon, so I'm not spoiling too much. This is Wired's first build with this cute little parkour there. This is kind of all of Time's build over here. And we have like a little drip leaf parkour that comes over to our little dock that's behind all these mangroves you can't see. Obviously, here is mine in red space with Enchanting Tower. And then, like I said, from I'm trying not to make anyone motion sick, from this little gravel patch, I want to build some kind of tower up to have a big moon. So far this season, we have added two members. So far this season, we have added two new members that have started. We have Tyr and Walks Not Runs, and Tyr's base, his starter base, is starting over here on this little tower. Um, Walks Not Run starter base is actually right there, that cute little hut. I commend him for taking on the savanna. So that's his little hut over there. As we know, this is, it's kind of hard to see, but there's our pillager tower. Um, and this kind of area is all of dates. And then of course, the lovely Miss Jail, these little starter base. I really hope her video is out, so I'm not spoiling her cute creeper. So that's our starter base. And I actually, a starter base, starter area, spawn area. I'm so proud of everything that everyone's built and I can't wait to see more. And I'm just procrastinating. This is a long intro. Basically to say, I have a lot to build here. And what I was saying though, when I started my little tour, clearly this is our palette. This is kind of just the vibe we're in. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking I make like a geode of some kind above and possibly put a house in the middle. And then maybe... Everybody's using elytras besides me, but I might make a little like landing place and then a ladder to climb up to it for the next person who builds next, which I can't remember. Let me, let me check the discord. Oh, after me. So first is wire who built the tree chunk, then date, then me right here. And then Jayaldi, then time, then breathe, then red, then AK, and then tear and um, walks not runs will be up at the very top since they weren't here when we kind of came up with this whole idea so they'll build at the top and uh hopefully we don't get too close to build limit with our builds and try not to go too big with it but my main goal oops too many down um now that we're having a thunderstorm my main goal i think which is most important is to take care of the shop and then take care of my portion of the community build so I'm not holding anyone back from moving onto their pieces. And then the next and last part of our starter area before we take off to our mega base is going to be building this tower here to the moon up above and then finishing these cute little house shop build things. 
Um, yeah, I think that's it. So first and foremost, we have a lot, a lot, a lot of resource gathering to do. So let me sleep and we will get going. But first, I have to ask, are you a believer? Oh, heavenly shulker Bree. Please, please grant me with a elytra. Please. Rain your blessings upon please. him, Bree. Oh, I think something dropped. Happening? I think something dropped. Oh my god. Oh, what is that? I didn't mean to. Uh... Oh my god. Look what we got. It worked! It did. Who's next? Um, well, I'll, I'll go. Yeah, yeah. What, what? Then me. God, finite? Yeah. Is that what you're trying to tell us now? <laughs> I thought you were omnipotent or <laughs> omniscient or whatever. <laughs> Give us an omnipresent <laughs> Bray. Great. Lord, Lord, uh, Br Bree above. Um... My Brie is an awesome Brie, he reigns. <laughs> so give me a wing. Okay, Did that work? Oh my god, yes! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, non-believer, are you going to wish for one too? No. <laughs> Brie is the religion, and I am... Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. You are a Is it Brecian? <laughs> are we Brecians now? Oh, yeah, that's true. yeah. <laughs> Oh, where'd you go? Oh. <laughs> We're Brecians now. You Mysteries better breathe it. That's how a religion was born. <laughs> <laughs> this is how, yes, this is exactly how it was born. <laughs> You're standing here like, oh yeah, wait, it's after me. Oh wait, you... I'm the god! <laughs> <laughs> Do you b believe now? Oh my god, are you a believer? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> That's brilliant. Are you a believer? <laughs> Are you a believer? We have started to gather. I was just chatting with Tyr. He's on. Um, was just chatting with him and showed him some stuff in the nether. Right now, I'm clearing out all the gross grass from this area. Um, and I'm going to start with the shop because I have quite a bit of materials to gather for this. So let's jump into a cute little time lapse and get this bone and arrow shop built. have for the most part checking in we have for the most part built a shop i think i'm going to change the color of this because clearly that isn't quite the right green so i might go with like a purple or a dark gray i think dark gray would be a little nicer so I said still under construction, but I am putting the items in there for sale. And then my main goal up here is to build a big old bone and then an arrow this way to kind of advertise more of what it is. Um, but I did fill up a shulker with some stuff. And then currently right now, I'm just putting one of these in that says one stack for two diamonds. I couldn't remember how many um, barrels I had in here, but just so there's one in each. Let's do all the bones on one side, and I'm not going to do... Um, I think I'm going to do 16 per 
I think that's what we'll end up doing. I know that's like a much easier way to do it. <laughs> But I think we'll end up doing 16 bones per each. And then because arrows are so easy to come by, I'll probably do a full 64 for a stack over here. But we'll do bones over here. And then I need to still build out those things, which I'll probably show in replay. Um, but then, yeah, that'll be it for a cute little shop that I just kind of like randomly thought of. But it should work out pretty good. So let me get that done. Um, oh, let me put these away and then I'll hop into replay for the other pieces and then the shop will be done so I could get started on my community build that has to go up top. I'm thinking I want to try to connect because like this is a really pointy thing to build something off of up top. So I'm thinking I want to like find a way to connect something down to these. If I make like a circular base of a geode, maybe I'll like connect it down with chains or poles or something. So it like brings in these corners. So it's not just like a random thing floating up here. I want to be able to connect all parts of the design. So let's finish this up and then we get to move on to this really fun, glorious community build. Let's jump into the time lapse. that's it for my little build here this is my portion of the community build hopefully you guys enjoyed it i definitely wanted to go for a little bit of a house vibe kind of filling in here and it kind of honestly matches up with you know what we had created before over there we have a little false um what do you call it? Like an attic space right up here where the layer of glass is. And I may end up throwing something in there special. But otherwise, it's like a half geode, half house, making the best out of what I could do. I definitely wanted to keep my community build area or my community build more of like a house vibe. 
But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next Hollow Craft. Hopefully you enjoyed. Be sure, as always, to check out everyone else's channel. And then the other thing that we built this episode was our bone and arrow shop, which is next to our area, which is what we will be focusing on finishing in this next episode. But yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next Holocraft. Bye!